Today in this video, we are going to be adjusting the back brakes on the Xiaomi M365 Pro. Now listen, if you have gotten custom firmware recently, if you've been using your scooter you know, a lot lately, or even if your scooter is brand new, it's vital that you absolutely hands down check your brakes because at the end of the day, these are coming out of factories so fast, they're not going to be tweaked, which means that the brakes are probably not going to be as good as they should be. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing you a quick way of adjusting your brakes on the fly if you need to. But to be honest, I'm going to show you the way that I do it we're going to be adjusting the pads within the brake caliper itself so it's going to be quite a detailed video so save it if you haven't got time to watch it now or you may need to watch it in the near future so just give it a save if you think your brakes are all right now i'm going to be going over some points as well some important points if you adjust these brakes wrong you can potentially burn out the front motor on your scooter which is not something that you don't want that at all because that's an i can ima only imagine that would be a headache and it's going to cost an absolute arm and a leg so let's get right into the content let's yeah let's give it a go ideally we want the lever to be going about halfway to about here that's the sweet spot and when it's at this i guess range and when it's adjusted like this the motor the front motor knocks off as you brake if you do this too tight just like what i was saying at the start of the video if you make this way too tight or too loose the front motor is going to want to continuously be going around and around and it can burn out so we don't want that at all most people you might have seen in the past is the quickest way is to adjust this you just loosen this here and then you pull the lever forward and yes it does work but to be honest you're better off adjusting the small brake pads on the inside force by doing this over time you know obviously this is going to stretch over time the more you keep on adjusting and adjusting and then you're eventually going to have to absolutely change the whole brake cable which is going to be a nuisance so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adjusting the pads on the back i'm going to tell you what tools you you need and then we're going to be tweaking this front cable here so let's get right into it what you're going to be needing you are going to be needing a five allen this is going to be used to actually adjust the because there's an adjuster on the back here for the inner inner pad so i'm going to show you that you're going to need a size four and you're going to need a 2.5 also as well we might need one of these for the video so let's get cracking so i'm going to show you my brakes now as they are so my brake lever is about halfway just like what i showed you let's spin the wheel it's fine to be honest i've been using this quite heavy if you missed out on my custom firmware video where it gets speeds up to 32 kilometers on this scooter over time to be honest the brakes have worn i think a good bit because i do be going so fast so i need to slow down quite quite quickly i've gotten the x-tech brake recently so i'm going to be popping that on but we're going to be adjusting this for the purpose of this video today by the way guys if you missed out on any of my show me m365 pro videos they're linked in the description in the eye in the top right hand corner and at the end of this video but please do watch this video the first thing we are going to be doing we're going to be starting from scratch what i'm going to do is i'm going to do completely loosen this okay and we're going to adjust the this area here we're going to put our size four on it and we're going to just loosen this okay just be careful obviously it's spring loaded so just be careful with that the reason why i'm doing this is because we want to start from scratch we want to tweak the pads and then do this bit very last okay so our cable is as you can see there it's completely loose it's completely disconnected if you're looking for a quick fix hold the end of this and then tighten it but of course we don't want that because that's just that's just the quickest way out of this but ideally we want to adjust the back pad first so i'm going to show you something that we have to actually loosen first if you can see here there's a really small allen right here we need to loosen this force then we're going to adjust the back brake pad which i'm going to show you so we're going to literally now this here you have to be careful it's so small we literally just want this to be a tiny bit loose let's just pop that on there like so okay so that's loose so it's this one here that we loosen first okay now i'm going to get the camera at best angle possible because the next one that we're going to have to adjust is actually on the inside right here now this is going to be where you're going to need your size 5 okay size 5 just like what you see here this is the part we are going to be turning as you can see we're going to turn this basically clockwise and the clockwise is going to push the pad in even more but we don't want to do this too much we literally want this to be a hair off of the disc 
So you can see here on the right hand side, now we adjusted these brakes already, but I do want to tweak them. You can see a small gap right there on the right hand side. This is from the inner pad. And then on the left, you can see quite a big gap. So we're going to have to tweak these brakes definitely. So the first thing we're going to do is like what I showed you a second ago. We're going to put the inner pad towards the disc more by a tiny bit. So let's go ahead and just do that. So again, it's probably better to get bigger Allen keys like what I have here. So we're going to adjust and turn in it here very slowly okay we can get a little bit more closer than that let's go ahead let's turn it a tiny bit more okay that's good and close there actually i'm quite happy with that okay much better so you can see the gap has closed let's spin the wheel make sure it spins freely you don't want it too close but there's literally a tiny hair there so i'm happy with that so then after that we're gonna basically tighten this one here that i showed you already so let's go ahead and give that a squeeze you literally only give this a small squeeze because it's so small you can easily round these off so that's a back pad done so because the back pad is nice and close so to adjust the front pad we're gonna just literally loosen this one here with the size four as you can see here the there's nothing happening with the brakes gently does it you can see the caliper is completely loose there is we're gonna tighten our brake line here we're not gonna be adjusting them we're literally just tightening it so let's just go ahead and do that for a second and then what we're going to be doing is so you can see the caliper is completely loose okay so we're gonna do is we're gonna pull down the lever you can see the caliper coming in so what this is doing is it's obviously it's lining up the pads so that there's you know even wear on the disc so we're gonna keep that lever pulled down you can see my hand here it's completely pulled down and we're gonna give this a squeeze like so do one side do the other side by the way give this video a like if you're enjoying it so far okay and our wheel is spinning there which is good now so the back pad is rubbing a tiny bit off it so we're gonna literally bring this back pad back in slowly so let's just do that let's just loosen this again okay loosen that so it's foil tiny bit of rubbing there anti-clockwise okay no noise because let me see i'm gonna show you i'm gonna tighten the back pad again to show you what's happening i say i tighten that too much the wheel is not moving at all so we're gonna literally loosen that to bring it in still rubbing keep loosening much better basically you want it as close as possible so okay so we're sorted we're happy with the back pad now the last thing to adjust is obviously you want to make sure everything is tight go ahead check that check that don't forget to tighten this part here in the inside. Tiny squeeze. Check it again. No rubbing. Okay, next step. Well, the last step. We're gonna need to adjust the cable. So again, you want this lever just about halfway down. So what we're gonna need to do is, you're gonna need this, okay? Because we're gonna literally grab one end of the cable. It's idea, It's obviously best if you have two people doing this, but I'm hearing me on. You wanna literally pull this cable through, loosen your, just loosen it first, like so. You need this to be, you need to be able to hang on to this. So let's just check, okay. You don't want the rubbing, so you just kinda need to play around with it. Okay, so it's breaking there. Ideally, we want this about here, because when you tighten this, more than likely, the cable, we want this to be about so about there, we're happy. Give it a squeeze. Oh, that's much better. Perfect. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So after doing that, we're gonna give that a small squeeze. Make sure it's nice and tight. Check your brakes. Make sure they're not rubbing. Let's go again. Now, as you can see here, I'm gonna recap as well what we're after in this video. The back wheel is stopping when the lever reaches halfway. And a guide to go off is this part here, the brake cable. This is gonna stop the front motor. So we're gonna turn on the scooter now, okay? Let's stick it on Eco, for example. Let's just go up full speed for Eco, okay? So, we're driving, off we go. When the backlight flashes, when the lever is halfway, the motor should stop at the front. This is the best guide to go off. Wait till the cruise control kicks in. So let's go. Let's, when we get to halfway, that motor should stop and that red light should flash. Boom, there we go. Perfectly adjusted. So to recap, we adjust the back pad. Then after we adjust the back pad, we loosen these two so the caliper is free. We pull down the lever completely to get this lined up. After we have that lined up, we tighten this, we tighten this, and because you loosen this at the start of the adjustment, you literally play around with that until it's spinning freely, and when you get to halfway, that this light kicks in and the motor stops, which is vitally important. So there we go. If you have any questions, shoot them below. You can click on the videos that are gonna be showing up on screen right now. In the meantime, please stay safe on your skewer. Adjust your brakes. Any questions you have for me, just shoot them below. I will respond to you as always. In the meantime, I'll talk to you soon. Scoot safe.